What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? How are you guys doing? Uh, if you are struggling with swimming and you feel like you are out of breath, even after like a short distance, then let me just tell you that you are not alone. So many of us have been there, you know, just hurting after like going down and back in the pool, absolutely out of breath after like one length. Uh, and my strong suspicion is that there's like one or two things that are going on, maybe a combination of two things. One, your body position in the water is off, or number two, you're really struggling with breathing while swimming. And in this video, we're gonna go over three progressive drills and three things to kind of keep in mind as you do those drills that should help you both with body position as well as breathing while swimming. Okay, when we swim through the water, the most efficient way to travel quickly is to kind of swim on top of the water with your body horizontal. Uh, if we travel through the water with our body in a more of a vertical position, it's gonna be extremely difficult. And I think the easiest way to visualize this, at least with the props that I have on hand, is just to imagine your phone kind of like skimming across the water uh, with that kind of horizontal position uh, versus having your phone move through the water in that uh, upright kind of vertical position like this. And you can actually imagine really quickly that the resistance from the water would be significantly higher when you have your body or your phone in this position. And our body is just like this phone in some ways. As you take a breath, oftentimes what will happen is your head will come up, your feet will drop, and your body position will be stuck in this more vertical position, which is significantly less efficient than that horizontal position. But these drills that we're gonna go over are intended to help us get a hold of that like sweet, sweet oxygen, all while keeping our body position horizontal. And the first drill that we're gonna start talking about uh, is really, really simple. You basically just start at the side of the pool, start kicking against the wall, try to bring your body up and into that horizontal position. And you shouldn't need too much pressure with your hands to keep your body from moving directly into the edge of the pool. Uh, we just wanna practice keeping our body in that position and taking a breath. And on each of these drills, we really wanna keep three things in mind. The first is that horizontal body position that we talked about. As you take each breath, make sure that your legs aren't dropping down into the water. The second thing to keep in mind uh, is to breathe out when your head is facing down underwater. Uh, and what that allows us to do is just be a little bit faster when we do grab our breath. All we need to do is inhale quickly, and it also allows us just to really relax when our face is underwater. Uh, and what you'll see a lot of times with new swimmers is that they're not really creating those bubbles when their face is facing the water. And it really just means that they're holding on to their breath, really not relaxing. And then they have to take a, a bit longer when they take their breath to exhale and inhale as they're trying to get a breath. And the last thing to keep in mind when you're doing each of these drills uh, is really more of a goal. And that is to keep one side of your goggles underwater and one of yours out of water as you're practicing these breathing drills. And you might not always do this when you're racing or when you're swimming hard, but it's just one of those things to keep in mind when you're practicing these breathing drills. And our second drill is to grab a kickboard. Uh, and we're gonna do kind of something similar to what we've already done. And really all of these drills are just progressing towards swimming. But we're we're gonna use that kickboard and we're really just gonna one arm paddle and really just same thing, kind of focus on our breath, the same things to keep in mind, holding our body position, breathing out underwater, one goggle in and one goggle out. And I would recommend breathing 25 meters to the left and the next 25 meters to the right. And it also might be helpful to put on a pair of fins. Uh, and when you have a pair of fins on, uh, you'll really notice that you'll get a feel for how some of the faster swimmers might feel when they're swimming through the water. Uh, and what you'll notice is that there starts to be a little pocket form uh, in the water. And what you might notice is it makes it just that much easier to sneak that breath. And on our last drill, we're gonna leave the kickboard on the pool deck uh, and either use a pool buoy or continue using the fins. We're gonna keep the same three things in mind and we're just going to swim. And with this last drill, this last swim, 
You're just swimming through the water like you normally would, not really focusing on going fast at this point, but really focusing on those same three things. Horizontal body position, breathing out while we're underwater, and keeping one goggle in and one goggle out as we take our breath. And what you'll sometimes see if you watch a lot of elite swimmers is that they actually breathe out of the side of their mouth as they snag their breath. And that just makes it that much faster for them to get their head back into position uh, so they can swim through the water as fast as possible. Okay, so it's a pretty simple set of drills and it's not a ton of stuff to remember, but what I will do is go ahead and make a quick PDF of the three drills and the three things to keep in mind. Uh, and if you'd like to, you can print them off that way you can kind of like have them on deck. And what I would recommend that you do is just kind of incorporate these drills, you know, not spending a ton of time working on them, uh, but just basically incorporating them into your warm up. And if you're new to swimming, I would definitely recommend trying to incorporate this uh, about two or three times per week, just as you get the feel of breathing while in the water. Uh, and definitely report back after a couple weeks and let me know if it's helped you at all with your swimming. Or if you've worked on some of this stuff before, drop me a comment below and just let me know some of the stuff that's worked well for you. I really think that having some of your ideas could help a lot of new swimmers. And if you're into this sort of thing, and that would be swimming, biking, or running, consider subscribing to the channel. There's a little subscribe button down below here somewhere. Uh, typically next to that, there's a little notification bell. Uh, if you hit that notification bell, it just allows you to be notified of whenever I post new videos, which I try to do about once per week. But maybe I should post more often. I have no idea. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you guys on the next one.